This is a video tutorial on how to find the Flexor Digitorum Superficialis and Profundus in the palm of the hand and also the A1 and A2 pulleys. So we're going to start off just putting our probe over the region of the mid palm and just make sure you've got your orientation set correctly and the depth of the image correct. And we're going to see two structures in the middle of the screen here. We're going to see the most superficial structure, which is the flexor digitorum superficialis, and the deeper structure, which is the profundus, which ultimately becomes more superficial beyond the uh, proximal interphalangeal joint and inserts onto the distal phalanx. So as we move our probe then down the hand more distally, you'll see those two tendons start to come together, and you could be mistaken for thinking at this point that they're one tendon, but they're not. The deeper portion is, is very much profundus and superficially is superficialis. Now, as we come down now to the level of the MCP joint, you'll see a very distinct dark halo appear around the tendon, the tendons, when we're looking at it in short axis. If we then spin our probe at that point, being careful to stitch the image all the way across the screen, we'll see a very distinct hypoechoic structure, just superficial to the tendon itself. And we know that that is the A1 pulley. If we then just gently flex and extend the finger, you'll see FDS and FDP glide underneath the A1 pulley. And if we then come back round carefully into a short axis view, and just bring our probe down that little bit more distal again, we'll see it very clearly in short axis as well. So that is your A1 pulley, and it sits at the level of the metacarpophalangeal joint, but clearly on the palmar aspect. As we then just continue to roll down through the finger, we'll see the two different bundles of superficialis start to separate out and you'll start to see the migration of profundus coming through the middle of the two bundles of superficialis. As we keep coming down the hand, you'll see superficialis now laterally and medially will insert onto that middle phalanx and the final bundles of profundus will just continue their journey. And you have to be careful not to get an isotropy here all the way to insert distally and at this point we can go back in long and we can see those tendons come all the way down the hand to insert onto the most very distal aspect of the finger which is the distal phalanx and you can see those structures there diving down and attaching onto uh, the distal phalanx. Just be careful here to make sure that you're not oblique to these structures. You can see that I'm losing the right-hand side of the image here if I go oblique on the structure. If we then come back in short and we move our probe swiftly back down onto that proximal phalanx, if we then go long on the proximal phalanx, we'll see a very distinct, a little bit more gel, very distinct appearance here, a little bit more gel. of the A2 pulley, which has quite a distinct appearance. It's much longer and is much thicker distally. We can also again just move FDS and FDP deep to it at this point. But this is the proximal phalanx and we can see here A2 just sitting on top of the FDS and FDP tendons. And if we just come up staining long that little bit more proximal, we'll then return to where we started back over the MCP joint. We've got the volar plate as well visible here and the A1 pulley.